Hello, hi, how are you? My name is Leo. Here's how to IT. Welcome back to my channel. This is the view of the VTOP NVMe adapter for M.2 PCIe SSD. If your motherboard doesn't have M.2 slot or you want more M.2 SSD storage, this is the solution. Let's dive into the spec of this product. The kit only support the most common AM key from 80mm, 60mm, and 42mm. The kits come with the heatsink and different size of thermal pad. The footprint is small, compact, and lightweight with the logo and the LED indicate light on top. The nice thing for me is no screw required putting on PCIe slot. It also works without the hissing if you need more space or airflow for your PC. The nice thing is that directly connect to the PCIe link to your CPU, which theoretically will be faster than putting on the M.2 slot on your motherboard, which leads us to the benchmark test. The SSD I use for this enclosure is the Samsung 970 EVO Plus. The system I use is the old 5th gen i7-5820K. By the way, I have the recent project for this system. I integrate the window ACs onto this system. If you're interested, I put the link on top and the video description. Back to the test. I tested it with the drive directly attached to the motherboard and attached to the PCIe port with the enclosure. The number is a bit confusing to me at the beginning, however I understand everything after a few tests. The sequential write is a little bit better when plugging directly to the motherboard. The random read and write are much better when using the adapter. I want those tests with the OBS running on the background. Then I test it again with no OBS. Without the OBS, the sequential speed for both tests are matched right now, and the random read and write speed are faster when the drive attached to the PCIe port. I further compared the number with the test I done on the other system earlier. Finally, everything is clear. In summary, the adapter will add next to no performance lost. The drive will have faster response time when it connects to the PCIe port with the adapter. If the system running multiple things on the background, the sequential speed will be faster when the drive connects to the onboard M.2 slot. Because the sequential test rely on single thread CPU 0 when the drive plug into the PCIe slot. On the other hand, it seems the chipset will do some of the offload when the drive plug into the M.2 slot. Comparing the test between the other system, the numbers show the random speed will benefit with higher clock speed. That's it for the test. The build quality is surprisingly good. The heatsink and backplate are made with solid metal, not to mention the price is very good as well. Something to keep in mind, this kit is PCIe X4, don't confuse by the name on Amazon. You could clearly see that on the PCB, there are no connection to the rest of the pin. The name only means you could plug this adapter to those slots. Secondary, it doesn't support all the motherboard if you use it for boot drive. It should work with everything later than the 5th gen Intel. The 4th gen will depend on the motherboard itself, and you'll be fine if you use it as a secondary drive. Overall, I think this is a great product for you if you're still rocking the old platform. You can bring your old PC to the newest NVMe SSD goodness without breaking the bank. Price and shipping $16.59 before tax. Free shipping if you are a Prime member. I ordered it on July 20th, delivered on July 22nd. If you want to clone the old drive with the OS on, it's very simple. You could simply use the software from your SSD manufacturing or use the free software. 
I will put some software link on the video description too. If you have a Samsung SSD, I highly recommend you install the driver from Samsung. If you are interested in how much performance gains, you can check out the video I've done earlier. I put the link on the video description as well. Alright, thank you so much for watching. My name is Leo. Here's how to IT. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.